Bill McRae here. I ask people to ask questions on my last video, and someone did. So I'm responding to that question. See how this works? You ask questions, I provide answers. Because I sit around thinking, well, what do people want to learn about as far as online marketing is concerned? And the fact is, I'm guessing. So if you ask, and I know something, if I don't know something, I'll come back and say, I don't really know. I'm going to be honest with you. So the question is, what are my top five traffic sources for building an email list? Great question. First of all, the most effective, by far where I made the millions of dollars, was when I did product launches. This is not something very many people are going to do. you got to come up with a product. You have to have incredible copy. you got to hire a copywriter. I spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on that. And uh, you have to be able to organize a team of, of affiliates go out and promote. Back in 2010, I was nine years younger. So I was not quite 50 yet. And uh, I had a great idea for a piece of software we called MPP, which actually was Massive Passive Profit. And it really worked. It worked. It did what it said it did. Now the copywriter made it look brighter red and greener green and yellower yellow and bluer blue. And the copy was amazing. The copy was absolutely amazing. And it did play off my reputation from being uh, extremely talented at generating traffic. Sure was. I was doing it for my websites and I was doing it for uh, my e-commerce site and, uh, for 10 years before that period of time. So I knew how to drive traffic to websites, understood that, understood search engine optimization at that time. And I knew that all it took was content and backlinks, and boom, boom, boom. So MPP, Massive Passive Profits, is what we call the software, actually did that for people. So we launched in, I think it was November of 2010, Massive Passive Profits on ClickBank. In two weeks, we had sold 40,000 copies of this software and we average about $95 in sales. So do the math, it was huge, right? 50% uh, commission, and I think we had like a 15% refund rate, so do the math, we cleaned up. In the process, I built 35,000 buyers on its buyers list. Those guys may be another million. And 100,000 subs, those are guys who subscribed but didn't actually buy. They made money. So there's definitely a difference in quality between the buyer's list and the subscriber's list. Keep that in mind. Subscriber guys, hey, they're just kind of curious. They're looking at stuff, but it's still better than other sorts of traffic. The number two source of traffic uh, for building lists when ClickBank said no more biz off products, and I don't blame them because things went from 15% refund rate. Two years later, it was up over 40%. There's no merchant that's going to continue to work with you on that basis. So they had, to, they had to change the rules and get out of it, and I don't blame them. Um, but when they did, we kind of took everything over to uh, JBZoo for a little while, and PayPal caused problems. So ultimately, we all got merchant accounts, and we went to Cash Network or one of the CPA networks. And generating leads from the CPA offer, how it worked is we had this great offer. You had to fill out a questionnaire to see the sales screen. And the question was, are you ready to make $10,000 a month? And went through like four points. And then you have to submit your email address to see if you're qualified to even buy the product. It doesn't matter how you answer it. As long as you put your email address in there, you qualify, right? 1,000 leads a day. Boom, boom, boom. High quality leads. We sold about $100,000 a month of that software um, for 18 months. That was a lot of money. Now, we didn't make any money on the product itself. Matter of fact, we got involved in a, uh, an affiliate that was using stolen credit cards out of Asia who uh, ended up causing us to lose $30,000 a month. We pulled out of that business because suddenly our merchant wouldn't process it anymore because of all those chargebacks. It was ridiculous how much money we lost. But we built a phenomenal list at that time. And I monetize that list through various different ways, primarily selling solos with it. 
I would say second level. First level, buyer's list from a product launch. Second level would be subs. This would be along the level of subs, subscribers. Okay, we also had a buyer's list from the CPA product. It was similar to our buyer's list from the ClickBank product. Um, my third favorite source, but this is because I had to learn how to monetize traffic, is guaranteed leads. They come in dirt cheap, especially when you buy them by the millions, and you have to clean them, you have to scrub them, you have to get rid of the complainers, and you have to segment them like crazy to find out who's truly interested. Then you market to that little niche of who's interested. And they're as good as subs with guaranteed leads. Uh, eBusiness traffic is a great source for them. Um, I would look there. Activities Pro is not bad. I would look there. Guaranteed leads is less money, and their leads are just as good. So that's why I've been uh, switched over to that. Um, number four for best traffic sources for list building to build a list quickly would be solo ads. Now, solo ads, I put their traffic quality below guaranteed leads because the quality of the actual lead really is probably just a tad better than a guaranteed lead, but I can get 10 guaranteed leads for the cost of one lead uh, that I capture from a solo ad. And then I can um, segment those 10 leads down to the three that are really interested. In. And so it ends up costing me less to get a buyer from a guaranteed lead than a solo ad lead. Now people are saying, buy solo ads, they buy our product. Okay, if they don't buy your product and you only have one product, shame on you. Not the guy who's supplying the traffic to you. Figure that out. Become a marketer. Um, and then my last of the five traffic sources actually gets me some incredibly good quality leads. So it's, it's number five, not because of quality, but because it's difficult to get a lot of leads. And um, that would be using a combination, and this is what I'm teaching people, of YouTube, upload YouTube videos. I have software that automatically sends it from my channel to my blogs, my websites, whatever websites I want to promote, based on the playlist. So I can use one playlist on one site, one playlist on the other site. And then what it does is the blog automatically syndicates that out using another piece of software that's free to a bunch of social media sites, and it drives non-stop traffic to my website. It's 100 to 200 uh, uh, hits of traffic a day, or not hits, uh, visitors per day per site growing. Um, it's not huge, a few opt-in every day. The nice thing about those leads is they're extremely targeted and I actually get sales with just a few emails because they typically, if you're promoting, let's say, the, the uh, solo ad product I have, which is called Bulletproof Email Solution, they're watching videos about solo ads, and I have a link in there for Bulletproof Email Solutions. Boom. They're more likely to buy. Why else would they click on that link, right? A lot of them are coming to my website from a link on social media, and they come to the website, and there's a place where I can capture leads on the website, and that's how I capture leads there. So those leads are, are really good. They're just not as many. Because now, as the traffic builds with YouTube and my volume builds, my capacity, I could see it becoming my number one source of what we call um, uh, endorsed traffic. They're, they're clicking on links because they truly trust you because they've seen you in the videos. So those are my five sources of traffic for building a list that I'm using currently. I still have CPA products. I still got ClickBank products. Um, I do mostly guaranteed leads. I'm very good at it. We're able to segment and handle all the complaints and not deal. A guaranteed lead is, is completely legitimate. The guy that ends up in your sales funnel don't know who you are. They don't know why you're there. They are the ones that pop spam complaints even though they gave permission to be put on other people's list. Um, we deal with that crap before we mail them on solo ads. We clean the list up. So there's my top five. Pick what you want to use and take action.